Hey YouTube, welcome to part two of Flamtastic uh, video on flam taps. Okay, uh, in the first video it just started getting long, uh, and I still had a few more to to add. Um, so I just figured I would I would make a, a hopefully a relatively short part two video to go over these uh, handful of other ideas. Okay, on using uh, the flam tap. All right, so let's get into it. Um, so uh, I think I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, maybe three ideas here. Um, uh, so the first one we're going to do is, um, is actually going to use um, a grouping of five, okay? So the sticking of this is going to be um, flam tap, okay, left flam, and then left tap, flam, tap, and then right, left, right, okay? Left flam left tap, accented right, right, left, right, okay? Left flam, left tap, right, left, right. So I'm just gonna play the pattern for you real quick, just so you can hear that. And again, we'll be playing this as 16th notes, okay? So uh, I'll play the pattern, and then I'll play the pattern just on the snare drum um, as a fill, okay? So again, um, if you're doing a grouping of five, okay, we got one bar, all right, all right, and that in that bar you have 16 16th notes, so you'll be able to play the five three times, which will give you 15, and then you'll have one left over. Okay, so that's gonna sound like this. Let's let's try it out. Okay, so uh, hopefully that made sense. So again, um, left flam tap followed by a right, left, right. Okay, and you're playing it three times. And then uh, I'm just doing on that final one on the of four, I'm just doing another left flam. Okay, so one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay, so pretty straightforward. I, I think uh, I think Vinny Caliuta uses that lick a lot. Well, a lot of guys play most of these things, but I think he's one of the guys I heard I heard do this. Um, so anyway, so experiment with it. It's a definitely a great uh, great sounding idea. Um, so another version of this that we're going to do is going to be in a grouping of seven. Okay, and this is pretty cool. So in this seven grouping, you're going to do three flam taps, and you're going to start on the left hand. So you're going to go. Left, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, so left flam, left, right flam, right, left flam, left. Okay, da da ba 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 da. All right, and then from there you'll just do for the seventh stroke just a single right hand. Da 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 ba 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 ba. 
So flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, right, flam tap, flam tap, flam tap, right, okay? So again, we're gonna play this as 16th notes, okay? So as 16th notes, you'll be able to play the figure twice, which will give you 14, and then you'll have two left over, okay? And on that two, you can either just go right, left, and then land on one, or you could even do two flams, okay? And I'll probably showcase both of that so you can you can see that. But So I'll start off playing just the pattern first, and then I'll, I'll put it into a one measure fill. Okay, so there in the end, I just started to just kind of play it over and over and over, just uh, just so you could see kind of uh, different ways you can orchestrate it. Now, um, kind of similar to the um, to the basic flam tap pattern, the uh, flam tap flam tap right left I did in the first video. The secret to moving this around is on that right hand. Okay, that 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 single right hand is your ticket to move. Okay. So use that to uh, to move around the drums. Okay, that's that's how that's going to work. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that's definitely a, a pretty cool one. Okay. Now this last one is um, just a, a, an idea that I use that happens to have a single flam tap in it. <laughs> uh, but it's a cool one. I do like it. I think it sounds cool. Um, and it's based upon uh, a grouping of six. All right. So this one, the way it's going to go, is it's going to go left flam, left tap, accented right, left, left, foot. Okay, so left flam, left, right, left, left, foot. Okay, and this is again played the 16th notes. Okay, so I'm just going to do the pattern a couple times, uh, and then I'll put it in, into a fill. Okay. All right, let's try that.
Okay, so I, I, I hope that made sense. So with this idea, you, you're playing it twice, okay? Um, if you play it twice, that gives you 12, right? So it's a grouping of six, so play it twice, gives you 12, and that gives you four left over. Now on the end, okay, that last four, you can't play the whole idea again. So I'm just going um, left flam, left tap, right, left, and coming out of it, all right? Left flam, left, right, left, and that's my final four, okay? Um, you could also stop it on the end. You could go um, four E and, and then crash, or go four E and and put your bass drum on the on the uh, okay? Does that make sense? Let me let me just play that ending a, uh, a little bit, just so you can you can make sure you got that. All right, let's try that real quick. Okay, so hopefully that last grouping of four um, made sense. Uh, a lot of times with, uh, really, with a lot of these fills, there's various ways that I resolve them. Okay, so um, with any of this stuff, you don't want to be locked into only doing things only one way or only a certain way. Okay, so uh, again, a lot of this stuff is open for interpretation. You can, you can play this, this idea as 16th note triplets. You can start on different counts. You can invert some of these patterns. Okay, so uh, most of these, when I play them, uh, I play them in, in various different ways. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm trying really hard to, to play it the same way here, and uh, uh, it's, it's difficult uh, because I, I don't just do it one way, and, uh, and I recommend that you don't do it just one way either. Okay, so, but anyway, it's a great sounding idea. So, um, you know, experiment. All these ideas are really... Um, are really quite uh, quite fantastic, um, and again, these are just a few of the ways that I use it. So uh, I encourage you, um, you know, take these rudiments, explore with them, take some of the ideas that I've shown you, and, and use that as a springboard to come up with some of your own. Um, again, this isn't an exhaustive list of everything that you could possibly do. It's just what it's just the main ideas that I use. Uh, so experiment and have fun, and uh, that's going to conclude or wrap up the flamtastic video of uh, of flam taps. All right, so stay tuned. We got more flamtastic videos on the way, as well as many others, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care.